is up everybody, Nightbatman here, and I'm giving you my trailer review on the just released Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer, and I am really, really excited for this movie. Uh, at first, I gotta admit, I was really on the fence because looking at the Turtles' uh, designs, they weren't looking too good, and um, there were rumors of the whole origin being different and the Turtles being from another planet, but luckily they are going to be more, a little bit more grounded and uh, stay closer to the, com the source material. And um, just looking at this trailer, I think it's actually going to be a pretty good movie, um, more so than I thought it would be. Uh, what's cool is how uh, the turtles, they look more turtle-like. A lot of people aren't really liking it, but I am a really big fan of what they're going for here. And what's cool is how even though they have so many accessories on them, it's like you can get used to it. Because what's interesting is how with the turtles what they're wearing is a good complement of their personality with uh, Leonardo it's cool because you get to see him wearing this like old-school samurai armor which uh, really makes sense since he is the leader and you would you would expect him to kinda be more of that uh, samurai type fighter in the group and then we have Michelangelo and um, when you look closely you can see him wearing like these beads and stuff and also on his uh, wrists they're kind of in tone with like surfers and like maybe someone you would see at Mardi Gras. Uh, pretty much someone who's laid back in, in the moment but also like willing to party and have fun. Which is really cool. And then when you see Donatello it's really cool because he's just uh, covered in uh, tech. He, uh, you don't see him very clearly that much in the trailer. But you do get to see a back shot of him and there's some tech on his shell. And you can even see in that same shot where you see the tech on his back. Uh, some goggles or whatnot on his head and even uh, when he and Raphael are sliding down the hill you can briefly see the goggles and I like how it looks like he's wearing that uh, maybe throughout most of the film because it shows that he's always uh, working with his technology and with Raph we don't really see much of him but I like how even though we don't see him the one scene where we do it's pretty much like a Raph kind of uh, scene that you would expect because you see him pretty much just laying down the hurt on this freaking Hummer, Humvee, whatever, and that looked really cool. Um, also, with the whole thing about how the turtles are CGI, I'm actually liking it because it, I don't know, it feels like the the faces, the way they animate it, it, it feels more organic compared to the original movie, and I really love the original. I grew up with the original, I... I was just hooked on it, you know, I mean, who hasn't grown up with the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, you know, or hasn't even grow up, grown up with maybe the animated TV series or even the animated TV series that's going on right now. And what's cool is how I'm also a fan of the TMNT movie that came out in 2007, and I really liked how the fighting style was in that movie, and it was also a, just in general a pretty good movie, and it was, it sucked that it didn't get a sequel, but... What I like in this movie is how since the turtles are CG, they can move a lot more fluidly and do even more ninja-like uh, uh, moves, which is something that has been sort of lacking in the or the live-action movies. But it's cool to see that they'll be a bit faster, but also a bit stronger. And they also look pretty big, especially when you see uh, Raph hitting that Humvee. Uh, he just looked huge when he's like, you know, on the side of it. Um... I also liked how early in the trailer, there was actually a moment where uh, April O'Neil was in the subway and it felt so nostalgic because it reminded me of the original movie where uh, the scene where Raph saves April from the Foot Clan and that was a pretty cool, uh, a pretty cool scene to show in the trailer because it just gives you that nostalgic feeling. I like this part uh, a little bit, uh, has some good humor, uh, so it's good to see that they'll have good humor in it and the fighting will be great, especially with that scene when they're sliding down the, the snowy uh, mountain. Uh, it was just so fluid and uh, I like that whole double team moment where Donnie does kind of like a fastball special sort of move with Raph. I can't wait to see more uh, double team moves like that or maybe even group uh, attack moves in the movie because it really plays off on the whole brotherhood dynamic thing and what sucks is this trailer was only a minute and a half long and it's this movie's coming out in August and you would have expected to see more but uh, it gives you enough to get interested and maybe want to see it when it comes out 
and with the casting, I think it's okay. Megan Fox, eh, whatever, she's just there for eye candy, I guess. And with William Fickner, who I hope I said that right, he's playing the Shredder. Uh, he seems pretty good. I think he's a pretty good actor, so I would like to see what he's gonna do with the Shredder role. And I like that little brief moment we had where we saw the Shredder armor. I uh, hope we can see it in full in the next trailer. And yeah, this really does look like it's gonna be uh, somewhat fun, but also pretty dark and serious in tone. But I just hope that the movie doesn't disappoint and that it's worth the wait. So that's been my sh sort of brief uh, trailer review. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys have any thoughts, comments, uh, or agree with anything I said, or just want to express anything else, please feel free to comment below. Uh, yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out in August this year. Uh, can't wait, big Turtles fan, and I really hope we get more Raph scenes in the next trailer because Raph is just the coolest. See? Come on. You gotta see more of this guy, you know? So, that's it. Uh, thank you guys again so much for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the trailer. If you haven't seen it, I will be linking it either in the annotation below or in the description. So, thank you for watching, and take care. Later.